Hey, it's Marquetta Breslin, and I'm back with another live. On tonight's live, I'm going to be showing you how to ventilate this beautiful lace closure wig right here. And I'm also going to be showing you my favorite ventilating technique when it comes to closure pieces and all of that stuff. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And then the other thing that I'm going to be showing you and telling you is how you can work one on one with me. I'll explain everything in just a second. Listen up, if you want to broke your business, we will show you how to get it up, get it up, up, uh, up. Uh. Yeah. We just be making deposits yeah. to help you start making deposits. Yeah. We building a team full of winners from novice beginners to moguls with profits. And moguls, that's profits. Yeah. Steady for greatness, we strive. Yeah. We dropping them gems over here. Yeah. Tune in to my credit, we live. Yeah. All righty, let's do this. Happy Friday, everybody. I am so, so needing this weekend. All right, we have been going hard since the Lace Wig University enrollment opened. And listen, you can probably tell by the sound of my voice that I'm so glad that we get to chill out this weekend. All right. For those of you who don't know or who are just tuning in, I have finally opened enrollment for Lacewig University. Uh, you can just enroll, go to lacewiguniversity.com to enroll. Throughout this live broadcast, I'll be telling you what it's all about and how you can work one-on-one -on -one with me. All right. Let me say hello to some people in the chat. And let me hit this live button over here on Instagram. All right. What's up, Miss Simply Unique 3? How are you? Bossy B, what's the dealio? How you doing? Tijuana Lane, hey. Rhonda Thornton, good evening, Queen Marquetta. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? My grandmother's, my dad's mom's actual name was Queen. So, Thank you for that. You just reminded me of my grandma. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Nikki Nicole, wait. Yeah, that's it, Nikki Nicole, how are you? I'm awake tonight and ready. Yes, I'm so excited. Hey, Nikki Nicole, I got it right this time. Torin, you know what, Torin? I have not seen you since, seen you on here since last year when we were going live a lot. So it's, it's good to see you on here again. Um, Ivy Velasquez, hello, how are you? Brooklyn Beauty Bar, oh my goodness, I see some new faces. I am uh, loving all of y'all's uh, profile pictures. Y'all look so cute. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing amazing. Shout out to everybody over here on Instagram. Again, listen, tonight, y'all let me talk to Instagram for a moment. So tonight I'm doing a live tutorial ventilating and I have my second camera right here, which by the way, boom, there you see it on YouTube. So I have my second camera here to get a super close up shot of what I'm about to demonstrate, what I'm about to teach. So if you want to see this up close and personal, go over to my YouTube channel or you can go over to Facebook to, um, to watch when we get to that portion. Hey everybody, the real JR, how are you? Liz Swan, how are you? Nene, how are you? Hey everybody over on Instagram. I'm so excited. And over here, I see some more comments coming in. Robin Harris, how are you? Sherry Anderson, good evening. How are you? Uh, let's see. Gosh, you're going so fast. Oh, good evening. Yes, how are you, Monica G Garrett? How are you? Let me put on my glasses because I'm just, this is a bit much. 
I can't read that far. There we go. There we go. Zawandra Lee, how are you? Queen Marquetta again. Uh, Miss Lynn, how are you? It's so nice to see everybody. Alicia Brommer. Oh my goodness. Uh, from, the, wait, what does that say? From G, the Travel Beauty Salon. I'm loving the intro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, a really good friend of mine, his name is, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Thank you. A really good friend of mine uh, created my intro. So we kind of collaborated. I say we, but really it was Ricky that did a lot of the collaboration because he has this this eye and this ear for music and for graphics and all kinds of things. So I, there's actually a video on my Instagram of Ricky and Naya in the creative process when we were selecting the instrumental or we were selecting the beat for the intro. And then my uh, brother in Christ, Pastor Ollie Rich, he wrote the, the song or the jingle and created everything from scratch. You got to hear my next one, though, for my other show that I'm doing. Uh, hey, Perdita, how are you? How are you, Bobby? How are you, Yvonne P? How are you, Unbreakable Goddess, Nina Chatham, Raquel? Oh, my, Paul, what, who was that? Miss Lynn, how are you? Um, Danielle Hodges, how are you? Shanika Price, how are you? Hey, everybody. It is so nice to be back. I mean, it's not like I've been gone for a long time. I was just here last night. I was just talking about you, Pastor Rich. Somebody said they liked my uh, my intro. It was the Marquetta. <laughs> he said, I know that guy. Me too. And happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. All right. So tonight we're going to get right down to business. All right. So just so you guys know here, I think I showed you guys a clip of this already, but here is a close up of what we're going to be focusing on tonight. So this is my second camera right here. Hello. And this camera is going to be focused on what I'm going to be teaching tonight. Um, and then it's going to cut back to me. Normally, I have a third camera pointing to my whiteboard over here. I might break that out one day next week. I don't know. But tonight, we're just doing a two-camera shot. And I'm going to get right down to business. Okay. So last night, I showed you, and I don't have it here with me, but last night, I showed you a wig that my, my, my Naya, that my daughter Naya was working on that looks... It started out looking exactly like what you see right here when we cut to the next clip. It started out looking just like this. And this is what I was talking about last night with those that straight line right there. When you ventilate on that straight line right there, you can see right through it, especially once you start to try to cover this area up. So here's another issue. When you have weft right here and then there's just lace here, you have got to bulk this area up to be able to cover up that weft. Otherwise, you're going to be able to see right through it. So in order to do that, you need to make sure that when you start ventilating back here, you're taking, you're, you're creating bulk. So you're ventilating um, more than one hair in every hole but also being careful not to make it too thick to where you can't blend it in once you start to cross knot. All right, so what that's going to look like back here, and because this lace, again, y'all, this lace is not lace that I normally would use, but I'm just showing you because you may not have time to switch out lace or anything like that. And by the way, since I don't have my um, magnifier tonight, I am, I actually just moved it over there to my industrial machine, but I have all my glasses tonight. Somebody actually asked me, I think on text or in a comment somewhere where they can get one from. That was custom made. It's a prototype of something that um, I've been wanting to do for a long time. So it's not available anywhere um, right now. It's just a prototype. It was custom made and I'm still working out kinks on that. So that's not available anywhere 
right now. And in fact, even if like it, it was configured and taken apart and put back together to make it work specifically for wig making. So I'm still working on that idea and tweaking some things. So it's not available right now. Okay. So back to this wig. Okay. So you see right here how, first of all, look at how this lace is in comparison to the lace that you've seen me work with. If you're already enrolled in Lace Wig University, it's like night and day. You can barely see the holes in this lace. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm picking up, this is probably two to three hairs. And as I begin, you can already see it covering right here. As I begin to ventilate, probably like two, maybe three rows through here, just going straight back, you're going to see it start to cover up that weft. And then once I do that, my favorite ventilating technique, especially for parted areas, enclosures, and the front part of wigs is cross knotting because it just looks amazing. And I like to cross knot if it is conducive to what I'm working with. I like to cross knot one, maybe two hairs. Okay. So going back down to the wig, I'm just going to continue ventilating some hairs across so that you can see it start to cover. Now, the other thing that, or the other challenge that I'm having right now is the fact that I cannot <laughs> really see because in order for you to be able to see, we have to have our lights a little bit lower than normal. So it's a little bit difficult for me to see, but I want to show you something in just a second. Um, I think I'm going to be able to put my hands on it. If not, then I'll show you on the next live, but it is a portable light that I got from um, a lighting company in California. And this portable light, it allows you to adjust. It's an LED light. It is so cute. And it, it is, allows you to adjust to be able to see um, different colors. Like if you needed more of a, for whatever reason, a blue hue, all right, you could adjust that light for the blue hue or whatever type of hue you need. If you needed it to be like a more like a fluorescent light, you could change it for whatever reason you need to change it for, but it is perfect for wig making and it's yeah, you don't need a battery for it. You charge, it has a, a charger so you can plug it into the wall and charge it, but it's wireless, which makes it all that much better. Okay. So do me a favor. I know you guys probably can't see right there. So do me a favor. If you understand everything that I'm saying, and if you can see this already starting to cover up, let me know in the chat. Oh, I see the chat blowing up over there. All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, everybody on Instagram. Okay. Let me go back up there to some of those comments because I think I saw a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, let's see. So Rhonda says, when class starts on the 11th, can you please share, can you please share where to, can you stop doing that? Can you please share where your favorite ventilating tool, tool, please? I need those in my, life. oh, these. So if you cut back to me real quick, <clears throat> Mr. Producer, um, this ventilating uh, bamboo hook or needle right here, Man, ever since I started using these, I never went back to the traditional, to the plastic ones because I love these so much. This is a bamboo needle holder with the Asian needle already made onto the holder. It's permanently there. Oh, thank you. I love you too. It's permanently there and you can't, like you can't take it off. The reason why I love these is because the size is stamped on the holder right here and you don't have to keep a whole bunch of needle, um, ventilating needles around, right? You just keep these holders with the needle already made onto it and you just grab what you need when you need it. So these can be purchased at Atelier Bossy um, and they come either in a set or you can buy them separately and they have a shorter version too. So if you don't like the long ones, they have one that's like half this size that I absolutely love. These are my favorite. I have a lot of them. 
All right, let me go back over here to some of these comments. Please lace in hair what you recommend as the best. So when it comes to hair, it's no, it's, you have to determine the type of hair you use by the project. So when you say what is best, it all depends on what the end result is going to be. If you're looking for um, more of a kinkier type of texture, then you're going to want to go with a company that maybe specializes in kinkier texture hair. Um, if you're looking for a wavy texture or a curlier texture, y'all know I'm partial to Indian hair. I have, so I have an entire company that's about to launch that has, that has a bunch of these beautiful, beautiful curls. And you know, the best part about knowing about Indian hair is when I went over there to India last year, their curls are literally just like this. Not everybody's. But I really saw some beautiful curls. Rob, my, my good friend, Rob Fuchs, him and I went over there together. I asked him to come over there with me. And we left and right. All we kept seeing is, oh, my gosh, did you see her curls? Did you see her curls? Did you see her curls? Oh, my gosh, look at her hair. It was gorgeous. So I love Indian hair. Um, and um, it's some of my favorite hair to work with. Um, when it comes to working with some of the kinkier textures, the best Afro kinky texture that I've ever worked with that resembles true African, like kinky, um, kinky texture hair, like the big Afro comes from his and her. Um, now the thing about that, his and her hair with that Afro kinky texture is I don't know if that hair can be colored or not. I've never tried to color it because I was just always order it in the color that I need it in. But that is really, really fun to work with. And I really like, I really like working with that hair a lot. So it just all depends when it comes to um, hair, it depends on what the project is. Now, when it comes to lace, that's a different story. I only um, like to use lace that is, I don't like this, this stuff that comes from the manufacturers. All right. I, I personally don't like it. I think it's too thick. I think it has a greenish gray hue, depending on the factory that you order it from. And it takes too much work to get it to melt. Um, I wish my daughter was here right now. She just applied the wig that we made in Lacewig University for her. And the way that lace melts into her skin is unbelievable. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you cannot tell that there's lace anywhere. It's like truly what lace and where is it at? That lace was purchased from Atelier Bossi. There's other companies who sell high quality lace as well. There is Jagazi Naturals. There is the wig department. There's a bunch of, well, I won't say a bunch, but there are several other companies that sell quality lace, all right? So I want you to keep that in mind. This lace right here, what you just saw me working on, I do not like this lace. To me, you have to do way too much to make it even appear to be, even if you go in and you ventilate, it's still going to look nice, but imagine replacing that with a high quality lace. That's why I always tell students and tell people, if you're going to start doing this as a career, you need to invest in sample cards. Most of these companies who sell this lace have lace sample cards. Fishbach Miller has them. Um, Atelier Bossi has them. And I'm sure some other companies has lace sample cards as well. So it's important that you purchase those things so that you know when a client sits in your chair and they're ordering a wig from you, you can touch the lace, you can feel the lace, and you already know what to choose from. Now, what I wouldn't do is hand the client the, the sample book and let the client choose their lace because they don't know, they don't have that knowledge that you have, especially if you're um, a student go, or ha have knowledge with wig making. All right, so let me go do some more ventilating. Okay, so this I can already see. I can already see this starting to cover up that weft. Um, and I'm not going to go all the way. Like, I'm not going to do a whole lot of ventilating. Oh, let me mention this too. So, in this area right here, you see this little gap. Make sure that in those gapped areas, you're fill, 
filling that area in with hair, my barb is stuck in between the lace. Okay, I'm glad that happened. So a common problem that a lot of people have, let me get out of this tangled up mess. A common problem that a lot of people have when it comes to ventilating is their needle will get caught and they can't get it out. Sometimes that is because your needle head with that hook, which is called the barb, will go in between that bar of lace. And if it goes in between, imagine sticking a ventilating needle between yarn and trying to pull it out. It's going to be a hot mess. It's the same concept here, except it's not yarn, it's lace, which is typically, depending on the company, it should, it's supposed to, well, I'll say it this way. Most lace is made from six different pieces of silk that are woven together, or let's just say material that are woven together. Some has diamond shape, some has hexagons, some has tiny little squares. Okay. So sometimes that barb can go in between um, that bar, B-A-R of lace. All right. And so that's the other, that's the other issue, if you will, with working with this lace. I can barely see these holes, not only because lighting, but because the lace is so incredibly, the holes in the lace are so small. All right. So let me just ventilate one more little section here. And look, you can see it really with those two, those two sections right there, or those two rows, you can really see it uh, cover up that weft. So it doesn't really take a whole lot to cover up the weft, but you just want to make sure that when you start ventilating, you do cover up that weft. All right. Um, this is making and understanding all of the intricacies of making wigs and working with closure pieces and all of that stuff is critical if you're going to want to do this full time. All right. You don't want to approach this. I will never forget. I tell this story all the time, probably in almost every class I teach. I will never forget this. I had a young lady come into the salon. I used to own a private salon in Somerville, South Carolina. And had a young lady come into the salon and she just could not figure out why her wig wasn't fitting properly. Um, I didn't I didn't make the wig for her. She went to another salon and she ordered the wig and she knew, found me somewhere online and knew that I specialized in lace wigs. And she came into the salon. This was years ago before we even before my mom started living with us, it might have been like 2014 or 2013 or something like that. So she comes into to the salon with the wig. She sits in my chair. Her hair is prepped underneath. Her hair is corn rolled down. Everything's normal. So I take the wig. It's still brand new. The lace hadn't even been cut off of the front yet. Still brand new. I put the wig on her head and it is obviously too big. Like, like who? who was this wig made for? Because your head, it's not this big. It was like two sizes too big. So as I sit there and begin to ask questions, I said, okay. And I went all the way back to the beginning. And I said, tell me what happened when you went into the salon to get this wig. She said, I go into the salon and the lady sits me down to take measurements. And I'm thinking, okay, well, that sounds normal because that's, you know, it sounds like something that we would do in the salon. And she keeps talking and something says, go back and ask her how her hair was prepared when they took the measurements. So I did that. How was your hair prepared when they took the measurements? She said, well, I still had my sewing in. And I go, Okay, well, that makes sense. This is what I'm saying to myself. And so I let her finish and I explained to her that the reason why her wig doesn't fit is because when they took the measurements for the initial wig, it was because she still had a full sew in. So the wig was made to fit over top of her sew in. And it wasn't the fault of the manufacturer, it was the fault of the stylist. And the stylist is at fault because she took on a client and took on a job, so to speak, that she was not equipped to handle. So if you're going to want to work with wigs and stuff like this, you want to make sure that you have the proper equipping. You want to make sure you have the proper 
education so that you know what you're doing when you approach it. And the other important part to this is, listen, there, there are so many different facets of making wigs. You do not have to make lace wigs all day, every day. It's so much bigger than just making lace wigs. You can do stuff like this. You can just make closure pieces. You can just do repairs. There's so many different things that you can do. That's with anything that you want to do. You can always win, have excellence, and take pride in your education and educating yourself so that you can be knowledgeable in the thing that you're offering to other people. That's only going to make you better and put you in a different light. And having excellence in business and your personal life just makes you feel good. All right. Most people rush and do things or rush and try to get something done or always try to take um, a cheap way out. We don't have to do that. I am a big proponent in investing in education and investing in myself so that I can be knowledgeable about the thing or the things that I'm doing. All right. Discipline. Never forget this. Discipline breeds confidence. And it takes a true discipline to sit down. And man, if I told y'all the, <laughs> the discipline that I just had in these last two weeks to learn something brand new um, that I had a little bit of knowledge on but needed to go deeper. <sighs> yeah, I could talk about that all day. But discipline breeds confidence. It takes a discipline to sit down and really study something and give it your all. It makes it seem so much easier. It's just like with my son playing football. The more he knows about the sport, the more it slows down. The game slows down. So when he's out there on the field, the more knowledge he has, by the way somebody's foot is turned on the opposing team side, he can know which way their body is going to move based on how their hips feet, neck, body, shoulders, whatever. You don't get that level of knowledge without pouring in. And if you can't pull out what you don't put in, all right? Whew. All right, listen, before we move on to um, showing you cross knotting in this little area right here, I got to take a moment to talk about my favorite thing, which is Lacewig University. All right, listen. We have had so many people uh, coming on board and joining and enrolling, especially last night. It was truly, truly, truly amazing. All right. And so I'm really, really, really excited for Lacey University. Real quick, for those of you who don't know, because I see a lot of new faces tonight, Lacey University is currently open for enrollment. And what it is, is a comprehensive program to teach you everything you need to know about making lace wigs. All right. Uh, real quick, my story, my mom was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer back in 2006. Um, she went through a lot. And obviously with chemotherapy, she lost all of her hair to the, due to the side effects of chemo. And I just got tired of seeing her wear the most unflattering wigs ever. And I just did not think that she needed to look like what she was going through. So I took on the challenge of making my mom the type of wig that they wear in television and film. But little did I know there was not a lot of information available to teach that all the way back then in 2006. All right. So I ended up to make a long story short, go back and watch yesterday's live um, for the full, full, full story. But to make a long story short, I developed my own approach and strategy to making lace wigs. And I've taught this for many, many years, um, ever since we launched the very first lace wig training system, which I think some of my students from the very first lace wig training system are even on here tonight. Jason, I think I saw you pop on here. Shout out to you if I did see you. Um, and so it's been like that ever since. And it's been something that is truly connected at the heart with me. It's not just something that I teach because I love it. It's something that I did to help women who suffer from cancer. And my mom just so happened to be the first woman. All right. But it goes farther than that because anybody, I mean, nowadays everybody's wearing wigs, but people also suffer from permanent hair loss. I've had moms attend 
my hands on events to learn how to make wigs for their daughters who are still in elementary school that suffer from permanent hair loss. We all know kids can be so mean, rude, and disrespectful <laughs> to each other. So it goes deeper than just, um, I want to teach you how to make wigs. It's something that I'm very connected to at the heart. So for many years, I used to sell my lace wig training system, what is now known as the legacy. Then after my mom passed away in 2016, we moved out here to Vegas. And in 2017, I refilmed the entire lace wig training system and relaunched it as Lace Week Training System 2.0. And we sold, the, opened that enrollment every, probably was around once or twice a year. And last year during the pandemic, I was sitting down and we were planning to relaunch everything. And I just sat and I looked at it and I said, you know what? I'm ready to go back to the drawing board, start from scratch, and I want to recreate the Lace Week Training System but I want to include my mentorship program in it and make it a huge comprehensive program. And we named it Lacewig University. And finally, it has all come to fruition and it has been open for enrollment for a few days now. But the enrollment is closing in, I believe it's five, only five short days. All right. There's only five days left. Um, and then that's it. I don't know when I'll open enrollment again. Again, I said it's usually one to two, twice a year, once to twice a year. Um, and that's not even guaranteed. It's been 18 months since I've it opened enrollment for anything having to do with lace wigs other than my virtual events. So I don't know uh, when I'm going to do it again. But um, it's open for enrollment right now. And here's the thing. At the beginning of this live, I said I was going to show you how you can work one on one with me. And I'm about to tell you right now how you can do that. So if you're going to enroll, not if you're going to enroll, when you enroll, because I know everybody is excited about this. Y'all have been in my DMs or in my text community all day. So listen, when you enroll for the next 10 people that sign up, I'm going to give you a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me. And by the way, if you've already signed up, you're going to get extended that same bonus as well. All right. Uh, just let my, once you enroll, here's how this works. Let me just break it down and tell you how it works. <laughs> once we're done with the course, all I ask is that you complete the entire course just so we don't have to go back and go over anything. So complete the entire course. And once you do that, uh, reach out to my team and we'll get you scheduled for your one-to-one -one call with me where you can ask me absolutely anything. Um, if Even if down to prayer, all right? I'm a licensed and ordained minister. If you need prayer, you let me know. That's how I roll. But even if it has nothing to do with prayer, if it's business, whatever it is, my husband and I have been in business for going on 19 years. I was about to say 18 but going on 19 years online and it's been a journey. It's been amazing. All right. So inside Lace Week University, we start with phase one, which is the Lace Week training system. And inside the system, there are 15, 16 modules that teaches you step by step how to make. And listen, those modules, some of those modules, just amazing. The funnest, I think one of my favorite things to teach is the history about lace wigs and understanding, listen, there was a factory that was discovered in ancient Egypt, a wig factory discovered in ancient Egypt years ago. I read an entire article about this. That was so fascinating to me. That's the type of stuff that I cover in the history section. And there is cap construction, foundation making, all kinds of amazing things in phase one. Then once that's done, phase two unlocks. And in phase two, that is the Lace Wig Mentorship Program. Now, I'm known for my mentorship programs. People absolutely love it. They're life changing. I don't say that lightly. They are life changing. You're going to start the first month of the mentorship program working on your very first piece. It's a piece that's easy to make. It's a closure piece, but we're going to do it together. And I'm going to walk you through step by step. Now, this mentorship program is 
is a video based program. There's 90 videos that release every single day for 90 days. And each video that releases gives you your assignment or whatever it is that I have you doing on that day. So the first month we focus on making your first piece, which is going to be a closure piece. The second month we focus on marketing. That is the missing component to so many people, all right? Marketing is so critical because what good is having a skill if nobody knows you exist? That just doesn't matter at, the, at that time. So you have to understand the intricacies of marketing, understand who your target audience is, who you're talking to, and it's just one of the most important aspects of wig making. I mean, not wig making, but important aspects of business as a whole. Okay. And then last but not least, we end month three of the mentorship program with focusing on your mindset. I cannot tell you how many toxic people <clears throat> are in business that hold themselves back from getting business and getting followers and getting a following because of their toxic attitude and toxic mentality, not only towards themselves, but other people, whatever it is, you cannot move forward with success and the freedom that you want with that toxic mindset. So <clears throat> I show you how to get mentally free from the bondage of having that, that toxic mindset with understanding the importance of forgiveness and all of that stuff. Okay. So, and listen, let me say this. You don't have to have a huge following either. You just need to have real impact. And that starts from within, from being who God created you to be. Because the biggest problem that people have when it comes to social media and understanding success in social media is that they try to do what somebody else is doing. When that's for them, that's not necessarily for whoever that individual is. When you be who God created you to be, you have to understand that there are people who are assigned to your yes and to your destiny. So in order for that to come together, you have to say yes, but you also have to be your true authentic self. Okay. I can talk about this stuff all day. Then <laughs> once we're done with the mentorship program, let me just take a sip of water. Mm. <clears throat> and let me say this too. The worst thing that you could ever do is try to be somebody else. Don't do that. All right. Once we're done with the mentorship program, all of the bonus content unlocks. Now, this bonus content, oh my goodness, I flew in instructors from literally all over the world. Two instructors from London, one from Florida, at the time she was living in Florida, one from Alabama, one from New York, North Carolina. I flew in instructors to teach the different aspects of wig making that I don't teach, all right? I don't teach any traditional wig making methods. Everything that I teach is what I've developed on my own. So my instructors came in to teach some of the traditional methods. Um, I have instructor Daniel Coy that came in to teach wig hacking. Toria Demps teaches one day wig customizations, which looks very similar to what I've been working on tonight. Carmelisha Matthewson came in to teach an entire course on repairs. And of course, you can't really teach anything that has to do with wigs without the hair diagram. All right. <laughs> Tamika Gibson came in to teach you how to use her bow hold lace products. It is absolutely amazing. But the thing I'm most excited about is a brand new bonus that I'm launching called Sewing Machine Wigs Made Easy. All right. I'm not only teaching you how to make wigs on one sewing machine. I'm teaching you on three different traditional machines at three different levels. So there's a, a baseline machine, there's a mid gray machine, and there's the one that's upwards of a few thousand dollars. But I'm also teaching you on the industrial machine as well. So I'm really, really, really excited for that bonus. All right. Once that releases, you'll be able to download your live seal to go on your website to let everybody know that you've been through Lacewig University and there will be your certificate as well. So you'll take a 100 question test and you got to pass the test and then you get to download your certificate and your seal to go on the website. And that ladies and gentlemen, is Lacewig University. And listen, there is a million different ways 
to make a wig, all right? A million different ways to make a wig. You have to understand what to do and figure out what your core approach is going to be. Because wig making is like braiding hair or even coloring hair, all right? Your finger and hand position might be different for a cornrow, but guess what? Our cornrows may look exactly the same, all right? So you have to understand that with something like this, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But one of the things that I don't want you to ever forget is that you never stop educating yourself. I don't care how long you've been in whatever industry I am. I always say that I'm a forever student. I'm always learning something, I'm always doing something. All right. But the, the key to this whole thing, because there's a bunch of different ways to make wigs and all of that. And some people get too caught up in the minutia of it all. They get too caught up in that stuff and trying to say, no, you got to turn your finger like this to the left three inches and then move to the right. Or no, you need to be doing this cap this way, or it must be done that way. Or you got to build your foundations on a wooden wig block. Listen, don't get caught up in the minutia because you act, you have to learn how to actually sell these pieces or what are you doing this for? All right. Now it's different if you're doing this just to make your own pieces. Your customers need to be happy with what you're doing. You need to understand what it is you're doing. But this is something that I absolutely love doing that a lot of people um, love doing as well and do it very, 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 very well. All right. So up on the screen right now, you see a, uh, a yellow thing that says enroll at laceweekuniversity.com. And remember, the people, the next 10 people who enroll, you get to be added to that list of people who um, get that one-on-one -on -one call with me. All right. I'm super excited for that. All right. Now, listen, again, this is how that's going to be broken down. Once you go through, once the course is done and we go through the entire course, um, you can reach out to my team. And once you reach out to my team, they will get you scheduled for your one-on-one -on -one call. You can ask me absolutely anything. It is a 30 minute call where you can ask me absolutely anything you want. Okay. Let's get back to this closure piece. Okay. So when I left off, um, I had two, I believe this is just about two rows over here that um, I was ventilating. So my favorite, favorite, and it's going to be a little bit challenging to do it with this lace. So what I may do is save <clears throat> the cross knotting um, instruction for Monday or Tuesday so that I can have a different piece of lace here and just show you how to, in fact, that's what I am going to do because I want to show you how to do it right. And it's going to be hard for you to see it on this. So if we come back to the close up here. Um, okay. So what I want to show you here is how to cover this up because I talked a lot about it yesterday, but I didn't show you yesterday. So yesterday I was talking about these gaps right here. Boom, boom, and boom. All right. So when you're breaking up that line, make sure that you don't make a straight line as you're going in there to break it up, but you're going to have to go into those little areas just like this. And you may need one of those little Velcro pieces to keep this excess hair out of the way. Okay. Go into these little areas and ventilate hair laying in the direction that the hair is already laying in and ventilate hair that way to break that line up. I just broke that hair. <clears throat> Cause if that if that line is too short or too straight, rather, it's going to appear that way when somebody's wearing that wig, it's gonna look like they have weft sewn in that little area. So you need to make sure that you're breaking that line up. And you can already see through here that it's starting to that the line is starting to break. All right, let me just refocus that. Right there, I think. Let me see. No. There we go. I think. 
Okay. So you can see through here. I'm going to show you on one side, then I'll show you on the other side. So you can see through here. I didn't do any ventilating over here to break that line up, but you can see over here, I've already concealed that by just putting, I mean, like three hairs over there. All right. So I'm going to just add a couple more right up in here just so you can see it. And then on Monday's live, I'll have much more of this done so you can actually see what the finished product is going to look like. Now, I'm going to focus this in for you guys here in just a second. I just want to get some hair ventilated. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you can see right here, I've already broken that line up. And you can still see, listen, you can still see those little straight lines in there, how they ventilate it just like this, but this just conceals that a little bit. And really, honestly, if I don't like the way that's looking, I'll come in here and do some more. And if I really don't like it, I'll just take some nair and nair some of that out to fix it. Because you, the whole point to making wigs is to make them look realistic. And that line looks fake. <laughs> so we don't need, we don't want it to look like that. All right, let's go to the comments and let me chat with some of you guys. Shout out to Torin from Texas for enrolling in Lacewick University tonight. Cassandra from Florida, Erica from DC, Tanaya from Maryland. I'm so incredibly excited for you guys. You can enroll right now if you just go to lacewigduniversity.com. And here's the thing. This is what I didn't say. There's two things I didn't say. Number one, I didn't tell you that there's two private virtual events that we're also doing inside, like while you're going through Lacewig University. The first one is in the middle of your mentorship program where you get to submit questions and we get on a private event, a private virtual event, and I'm answering those questions for you. And the second one is your graduation party. It's virtual. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to be giving away cash prizes. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I cannot wait. Now, the second thing I forgot to mention is the pricing. A lot of people reached out to me and asked me, even before I opened enrollment, when they knew it was going to open for enrollment, they were like, look, how much is this thing going to be? And I wanted to make sure that anybody would be able to enroll. So there's two payment options. Number one, you can pay in full, which is $3.95. Or you can do a four pay. And the four pay, you can get started tonight. Either way, you can get started tonight because the videos for the Lace Week Trading System, which is phase one, are available immediately. All right. So for $99 for just your first payment, I do not make you make all of your payments before you get access into the system, all right? Make one payment and you get access into Lacewig University, you get access into the Lacewig training system. And each month after that on the same day, so what's today? Today is the 5th, so December 5th, January 5th, and February 5th is when you get billed for the $99 for each month, all right? It's super easy. John says, hi, Marquetta. I'm looking forward to this class. Shout out to you. I'm looking forward to it too. Listen, it's a family of like-minded individuals that is absolutely amazing. I always think about my mom when I think about pricing, um, especially this system, because I always want to over-deliver. My mom for a long time was a single mom. And there were things that my mom wanted to do sometimes that she just wasn't able to do because she was a single mom and she didn't have a lot of income coming in. So I always think about that when it comes to how this thing is priced. All right. So rest assured that I got you covered there. You still have Paige. I love you. You are so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Listen, go right over to lacewigduniversity.com to enroll and shout out to everybody who has already enrolled tonight. Okay, let me go to some of the comments. I've already shouted out some of y'all who ordered tonight. All right. 
Uh, let's go to some of the comments. Rhonda Thor. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's Torin right there. I am so excited. I don't care how many times I go through your courses. I always pick up something different. Thank you so very much for your support. It means the world to me. I don't take any, any of this lightly. All right. I want y'all to, to really know that I am so appreciative and thankful and honored to be chosen as the person that's teaching you anything that you want to learn. All right. I don't take that lightly. So I really do appreciate the support. Um, all right. Another comment here. Let's see. Uh, Pradita, can't wait. Me either. Oh, let me say this too. All right. Because some people had some questions about the start date and whether or not it was going to be like me showing up and teaching virtually and all of that stuff. So let me just break that down. The reason why we have a start date of November 11th is because that's when the Lace Week training system unlocks. Really, the Lace Week training system unlocks when you enroll immediately. But the official start date is November 11th. Okay. And you're going to have until December 11th to go through the Lace Week training system, start to finish. You get a whole month to go through the system because on December 12th, that is when your mentorship program starts. And that mentorship program is time sensitive. So every single day, you're going to get a different video. Everything is pre recorded, it is virtual. It's really a self paced program. However, I would prefer for everybody to start together because of the way I have it structured. All right, hopefully that answers some of your questions. How do you get the supplies to start? So, once you enroll, and that question comes from Denise Smith. So once you enroll in Lace Week University, you'll have the option to purchase the starter kit um, at, a, at a very good price, all right? Um, you'll have the option to purchase the starter kit. Listen, you don't have to purchase that starter kit, all right? I also give you a list of tools inside the system, but it's just easier to purchase the starter kit because you order it, we ship it out, you get all your tools and you're ready to go, all right? So you'll have the option to get that at that time. And then, um, and listen, the same kit sells on my website, but I discounted it just for students and it is an absolute steal. So I made it very, very easy and affordable as I do with everything. Um, again, just go over to lacewooduniversity.com to enroll. All right. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to shut it down. I have a lot to teach you next week, a whole lot. I got to go deeper in this. I'm going to show you how to add lace, your own lace to your own pieces. I'm going to be showing you some of everything. I'm going to be live every single day next week. But I need to plug something. Two things. On Monday morning at 9 a.m., I have a weekly prayer call. All right. Um, last time I did it, which was two weeks ago, it's it, usually every Monday. But because we've been so busy with um, Lace Week University, I didn't I didn't go live the last two Mondays. But I'll be back Monday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right. Um, if you have a prayer request that I don't even know uh, what I'm going to be talking about on Monday, I wait for the Holy Spirit to give me a download and then I just set it up. So if you need prayer or if you just want to be inspired, just show up. We have a good time. We hang out and it is all good. If you need prayer or anything, just go to my slash ministry. Those prayer requests come directly to me. No one else can see them. Nobody else even gets the emails for the request. So if you have something private, be sure to send me a prayer request and I got you covered. I personally pray over each one that comes in during my personal prayer time in the mornings. All right. I always love the prayer. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, I, hey, I love it. I missed y'all these last past two weeks. I really appreciate this and even way better that you are God fearing. Oh, thank you so much. So many people are afraid to um, talk about God and business, but my business is my ministry. I wouldn't have it without God. And there's a whole teaching that I did earlier this year 
on how God equips us for business and a whole story behind my thought process in that. So, um, yeah, I will always talk about the Lord with the understanding that not everybody agrees with that. And that's OK. I'm not pushy and trying to push my beliefs on anybody because I love and respect everyone. In fact, at one of my um, well, not just one. When I have live events, especially the big events that I have, I always have time for prayer at these events. Everybody knows that I live in Las Vegas, so there's always crazy things going on here in Vegas. And at every live event that I have, when we have the prayer time, there's always people. I've seen people get up from the slot machines and come get in the prayer line. And people from all different walks of life and all living all different types of lifestyles. I don't care about that. There is no judgment here. I love everybody and respect everybody's beliefs. All right. Um, man, I'm so incredibly excited for everybody who has already enrolled at Laceville University. Oh, there was one more announcement. Next Wednesday, I'm having a wigathon, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. I've got several special guest interviews lined up. There's going to be giveaways. I mean, I'm giving away some Apple products and all kinds of crazy things. You do not want to miss it. There's going to be more information dropping either over the weekend or on Monday about the Wigathon, how you can tune in. Oh, I just got the chills. <laughs> I'm going to be live for several hours on the 10th to close out enrollment for Lacewig University. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be amazing. Plus, you can walk away with either cash prize or an AirPods or something. So you want to make sure you're there. I will be live every single day next week, and I want to see you there. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Again, you can enroll at lacewiguniversity.com. God bless you. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you Monday morning at 9 a.m. and then again at 7 p.m. for a live all about wigs. God bless. Bye. Bye, Instagram.